Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am back with another Thread Up Mystery Unboxing. I've already prepared myself to be slightly disappointed by this box because I have a lot of wonderful friends and strangers that I watch here on YouTube that I have seen do this unboxing. Had I watched all of those before ordering this, I probably would not have ordered it, but I ordered this basically the day it became available and it's just been sitting in a little corner with plenty of other boxes that I had no business buying, waiting for their turn to be unboxed here. So this is the J. Crew Banana Republic and More box. And at the time when I ordered this, they had three sizing options. I have noticed because I'm a crazy person and I check the website every day that they have since now, I've only seen the extra small and small box available, but they have got, they had extra small and small, small, medium, and I got the large, extra large, which is supposed to be sizes 14 to 16, but I know that size large from J. Crew is more of a 10. Anyway, I chose that size not only because those are the sizes that do well for me selling, but I also am more of a medium large, so maybe there'll be a piece or two for myself. And this box was $44 for 15 pieces, which J. Crew and even Banana Republic at $2.93 each. The dog is going to be playing with toys <laughs> like usual. And that's kind of a pretty great cost of goods if you're getting J. Crew and Banana Republic pieces and not just plain t-shirts. So low risk, this is one of their cheaper boxes. And for some reason, I always have free shipping over $29, but I usually pay tax and this one had no tax. So it was a 44 even. My box did come from Suwannee, Georgia. Here it is. I did untape it. I have not opened this one and we'll see. So you're gonna see how uh, excited or disappointed I might end up being. Um, yeah. All right, so inside, there is no bubbles. Georgia typically is good about putting um, the little, but it is full, so that, that's great. It, it should be 15 items. Let me preface with saying the reason I think I'm going to be disappointed is I have seen these boxes are being filled with Old Navy and Target brands, which I don't classify Old Navy and Target on the same level as J. Crew and Banana Republic. And I mean, even the factory pieces from those two brands, but I do expect to get factory pieces. But the good news, $2.93 is a good price if, I'm, if something works for me, and I do like Target and Old Navy pieces for myself. So let's see. One piece of this. Arlo, did you find a new toy, or are you gonna take a break? Ooh, you gonna take a break from playing? He recently got himself his own mystery boxes. Where do I order from? What's it called? Bark. Bark Box. We and do Arlo unboxings. We should do Arlo unboxings. He's gotten two so far and they're like really loud toys, all of them. All right, so they put these in here in rolls. Um, so I'm assuming I see one, there are three rolls. So I'm assuming there's five pieces in each roll. I already see a tag that I'm not thrilled about, but. The very first item, universal thread. So, I don't know, I just, I think that's misleading. And I already know that my, all of my other boxes have been filled with Target. I think that they did themselves a disservice by stopping ex accepting Target brands. But they still, just FYI, mamas out there or those who thrift to send in, they still take Cat and Jack. It's still on their approved brand list, which is the kids, essentially the kids universal thread. Uh, it's the Target children's line. Why do they still take that? I don't know. But Universal Thread makes cute pieces. This is a button front, size large. You know, this is cute, it has a little button. Uh, this is a shirt that I would wear if I, you know, if I went to volunteer at the kid's school or something like that. I don't typically buy, no, I never buy these kind of shirts because they have to be ironed or seamed and I just don't do that. It seems to be in good shape. Uh, it is from 2020, but that's not, this wasn't a Target box. I, I was not hoping for Target items. If they, I personally think Target has enough of a following. Now I sell Target, A New Day, all of that on Poshmark all the time. So I'm not afraid to list it, but I'll usually only list it if it's new with tags or like a really substantial piece. So there are enough people in my opinion, thread up if you're watching, to do a Universal Thread or A New Day box. People would buy it. 
but not for $44. And so we might as well call this a target box. So just like I suspected, the next one is universal thread. Again, it is a size 12. It is a, what is it? Like a dress with a zipper down the middle. It's cute. It has pockets. I saw a pocket, one pocket. It has pockets on both sides. Uh, this is definitely like teacherish to me. Like I feel like this would look really cute with a little collared shirt under it. Uh, I don't see an inner tag anywhere. Maybe there isn't one. I don't know. So there's that. Um, I don't know. This is probably not even worth listing and this is not something that I would wear. I would not have paid $2.93 for either of these two. And in fact, I would not have picked either of those two up at the bins. All right, well, at least I see an, a tag. And it's an Old Navy tag. So, like, are all of us wrong to be disappointed, right? Like, do you consider Old Navy and Target the same as J. Crew? Like, the way they divided all these new boxes, I didn't, I wasn't able to snag any of the other ones, but there's like a, Free People, Madewell, Zara box. There's a Lululemon, Fabletics, Athleta box. But are those boxes also filled with Target? I don't know because I haven't seen any of my friends unbox them, so. All right, this is a size large petite. It is that, I do love this material from Old Navy. It's their Breathe On line. It is a romper. So honestly, even though this is only Old Navy, this is an item, if it wasn't petite, I would actually keep this. Uh, but this is one that I will probably, that's just a fuzz list because it's cute. People, I imagine this is a type of outfit that somebody probably has already and loves it and maybe they're gonna look for another color. So I will list that one. All right, let me speed this up. Finally. J. Crew factory, but at least it's J. Crew. This is a classic flannel size extra large. Uh, nice fall colors. I haven't, you know, I, obviously I'm, I will see if there's anything wrong with it once I get it up. It is from holiday of 2020 and that's a decent piece. So I'm happy with that. This looks like old navy. And it indeed is Old Navy, size extra large. Just another, you know, I call these teacher shirts. They're cute. It's a light, breathable, flowy material. Uh, definitely something that I would wear if I still had like an outside the house job, but not something that's going to bring me any kind of money selling online. It is from 2019. So at least they're like new pieces, but so far, they're not all the same size, so I can't even bundle. Okay, we have made it to the next one. Was that five? That was five. We've made it to the next five. Okay, first one seems super outdated. It is Talbot's. Now, I would consider Talbot's to be on the same level as J. Crew and Banana Republic. So, I think that's fine to send that. Uh, it is a cardigan with these sequins. I'll have to really look and make sure that these sequins are all there. But this, I will list this. The it is just a cotton rayon. It is from, I think this means it's from 2011. But people that like ta Talbots search for Talbots and maybe, maybe someone wants that. Okay, what are you? This is made well, which again, I'm happy to have that. I think that that goes along fine with those other two brands. This is made well size 12. It is a skirt and I actually really like the print. Hopefully there's not like a big gaping hole or something, but it's got this contrasting fabric color along it. And I think this is nice. Did I say it's a size 12, it's fully lined. I definitely would have picked this up at the bins and even the regular thrift has an extra button. And it's from summer of 2019. Madewell has the style number right on there so it'll be super easy to look up. 
I don't like listing skirts. I don't like taking pictures of them and this one could use a steam, but thankfully my sweet husband has been helping me prep items for listing. And so I have a please steam this pile that I will just add that to. All right, this, I feel like this is another Old Navy print just by looking at it. And it is. Like Old Navy is just very predictable. It's a size large. It is a cute dress just a dress or is it a romper kind of thing? It's a dress. So cute. Yes. Belong in this box. Absolutely not. I think honestly, I think that old Navy has enough of a following. They could do an old Navy box if they'd like to change these to being branded boxes, but you'll see in an upcoming video of mine, their 200 pound boxes used to be amazing. I got some designer, like I made a lot of profit on several of those 200 pound boxes, but my most recent one, I think this is actually, this is a true wrap dress. I was looking for the uh, fabric tag for the date, but I can't find it right now. So. Anyway, they, I don't know what ThreadUp is doing. Oh look, another Target. This is universal thread, size large, possibly new without tag. These are just a pair of shorts. They feel like linen. They're 100% cotton, and they're from um, last spring, 2021. These are just plain. I don't like the feel of linen. I know I'm a weirdo. It, it like shows those wrinkles so so fast. But these are a pair of shorts. I will probably just keep and wear for myself. If they had tags, I would list them. Okay, finally something else with a tag. Banana Republic, not factory, petite. Uh, it doesn't have the retail, it just has this tag and it does have like the Banner Republic crossed out, which makes me think it was maybe sold at Marshalls or something, but this has got a really cute little blousey top here. Oh, are we missing a button? I think it's missing a button on the sleeve. Yep. So new with tags, but missing a button and you kind of need that button for that sleeve right there. Let's see, does it have a spare? No. So it's from holiday of 2019. If this had the spare button, I would ask my mom to fix it, but it doesn't. So I might still list it, but someone would have to replace both of those buttons because they it is the type of button, it's the same fabric color, color as the fabric. You could do just a plain black button, would be fine, uh, but yeah. Otherwise, it's actually a pretty cute little dress. It's kind of like a, what is it, babe? Cheetah or leopard? I never get it right. I don't think it's either. No? No. I thought it, they were trying to play on that. So that is, that makes me sad that it's missing that. All right, this is White House Black Market. I could see how that would go along. I love this store. I've said this a million times. It is very expensive retail, but there is absolutely no resale. Works out for people like me when I'm looking to buy. I love their jackets to wear over dresses, like their jean jackets, and they have cute white ones and all different colors. But they're like $150 in the store, and I've scored several of them on Poshmark for $20 and even less, so. This is a really cute black top, uh, size large. I might actually try this on. This would be really cute to wear to a this is from 2020 to a holiday party. It's a cotton polyester spandex blend. So we'll see, because uh, this is not gonna get me much online, but it is it is a really cute style. And it smells very strongly of perfume. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. That one actually had six. So we are up to 11 pieces. And down to the last stack. This top one definitely is Target. I was gonna say it feels like Target. All right, this is universal thread size extra large. It is new with a tag. It is a dress, inside out dress. Um, but you get the idea. It's There's no retail price on it. It has pockets. Uh, well, I have it inside out. It is from 2020. 
100% cotton. It's a nice looking dress, like it looks like linen, has a smocked waist, crisscrosses in the back. Because this is so recent, I should be able to find a stock photo. And as long as there's nothing wrong with it, I do think this is a cute enough target piece to list. There's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, so. I did get one extra piece. I did get 16 pieces. Let me see that real quick. Will you do that math for me, babe? That, I can't get that phone to work. Okay, Four, 44 divided by 16. Okay. 275. 275 a piece is what the cost of goods ends up being, which still. All right, well, another universal thread, size 10 or 30. They are not new. They have an interesting hemline. Right. They're from 2018. They are a mid-rise boyfriend. If they were new, I might list them, but I will cut out the date tag. I know some people hate that, but because I'm going into, I will put these in my box to go to Play-Dohs and they won't take it if it's not within like the last year, it seems. So definitely not worth selling those. We have another pair of shorts, another universal thread, a size 12 or 31. Same thing. Uh, these are from 2018 as well. These are the high rise midi, not worth listing. This has a big hole. So thanks for the extra piece uh, that I can't sell, right? <laughs> this is old navy. This whole tag is coming off size extra large, but it's, super flawed, so flawed you can't even fix it. I don't know how that would even have happened. It's not even on the seam, but this one is total garbage. So that one will go in the garbage. I won't even donate that because it's not fixable. And our last piece is from the limited, super old tag, size 12. And it is a black skirt, which I don't think Thread Up takes limited anymore either. I will check. I don't think they do, but otherwise, this is just a straight donate item as well because Style Encore is not even gonna take that. So, okay, $44. It's not that I don't think I can make profit on this box, I think I can, but I just, I don't like not getting what I was promised to get, I guess. So I don't feel that the Old Navy and the Target belongs in this box. It's my personal opinion. Do you agree, disagree? It's okay to disagree here. Um, looking at the pieces, you know, with that Madewell skirt, th that there are a couple new with tag, the Old Navy dress and the, the Target dresses. I think there was two that were new with the tag. I will do a 90 day recap on this box uh, just to kind of see, did I make profit? But you know, I still love Thread Up. I've, you guys have know I've tried a lot of other companies, uh, but this was a fail for me on their part. Uh, I, I think they're trying to be innovative and trying some new things, which is great. We all should be doing that in all of our businesses, but I think that this is gonna do nothing but just kind of disgruntle your loyal customers here. So I don't know, what do you think? <sighs> Please give me a thumbs up on your way out. It definitely helps my channel. Leave me a comment. Do you think this box was worth $44? or $2.75 a piece. You think I'll make profit? We will have to come back and around and see. And I thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful start to your week. Bye guys.